On today's episode of the Lake Hill City Birds, we're going to be trying out a couple of different squirrel baffles. I am leaving the original audio, so I hope you can hear it okay. I need to get a microphone because the GoPro doesn't always have clear audio. One of these, we're going to do a slinky on. The other, we're going to do a bottle. I think so you have to pull them out of the ground. Probably we'll do the slinky on this one because I can take that one apart at the bottom. Doesn't this have one of those V things at the bottom of it? Yeah. Well, how are you going to get the slinky over it? Slide on it. It's open at each end. Good girl, Bobby. We're going to have to have fast frame through this because this is going to take her about 30 minutes. I don't want commentary. Well, she didn't want me to help and she didn't want commentary. I don't know how she thought that was going to happen. You're supposed to be happy. I'm very happy. I'm happy I'm not doing it. Actually out here helping me. I mean... We could pull it out of the ground, but it's got the thing at the bottom. I know that. So I figure this would be the... That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it. For As those you can you... see, we have a sign on our fence from A Affordable Fence and Company. Are you even recording this part? Yeah, it's getting the whole thing. It's got wide angle lens. Carla. Are you above all this? Almost done. Hadn't been no 30 minutes. You got it upside down. That part needs to be on the top. How do you know that? They both look the same. <laughs> okay, so now we need to somehow. All right, so that's that baffle. Let's see how it works. What I would do. Yeah, you do what you need to tell me. I would uh, put one on the other side as well. Okay. That'll keep it from. That way it won't come undone. And then take these two. Tie them together. Tie them together, yes. I mean, this isn't going to stay tied, but. With it like that, I don't think they're gonna. What I'd probably do is get a lighter and melt these together like that. But that's probably okay. Okay. With that being wedged down in there, it probably won't come in there. All right, so next, I'm gonna take this bottle here and I'm gonna turn it into a baffle that's gonna go on this. I can hold it long enough to do it. Now this is just like my Coke bottle baffle I made a few months ago. But, hold that. That is no longer here because I took the whole thing down. And all you're gonna do, I don't know if it's gonna do the same did with the coat bottle because it's a different shape. But, but this pole I got on Amazon. I'll put a link 
in the video description. It holds a lot of feeders and it's worked really great. I've had it out here for what, a year and a half now? It's been a while. It's been out there a while. And I like that it comes apart in the in different sections. You don't, have, you don't have to pull the whole thing out of the ground. All right, so all you're gonna do is put this on. Screw this back on. Bobby Joe, you been in the pool, girl? Where's your crazy brother go? He's behind the doghouse, I think. Oh, where he is. All right, so we're gonna have to, I can't remember how I tied these on here last time. Put your tape you were talking about. Yeah, if you put tape on it, you have to put a lot of tape. But put tape on it like right here, then it would just go down to there and that would, I mean, it doesn't matter where it is, it'll work. Well, I like it a little higher up. Okay. All right, let me go find some tape. Okay, so I wrapped some duct tape around the pole to keep this from sliding down. And it seems to work. So the squirrel will come up, I'm trying to get it on that good, and he'll go up underneath this I'll scare him and hopefully he won't go any further that is the goal but we'll see so now so we got our two squirrel baffles I'm gonna fill it up with bird seed and I'm gonna set up the um, tripod out here and see if we can get some squirrel action not sure if they're gonna be out here this late in the evening but we'll see
see that don't work. Well, as you can see, the slinky baffle didn't work out. The plastic bottle baffle is still keeping the squirrels away, though. I think I will leave the slinky up and just add a plastic bottle above it and see how that works out. Thank you for watching this episode of the Lake Hill City Birds. Don't forget to check out my shorts because I'm doing a few each week of different birds and wildlife that show up in the backyard. Y'all have a very blessed day.